um, with just this video I'm going to show you some uh, kind of issues I encountered with uh, several controller displays for people that like to be streaming and display their controllers on their streams. Uh, first thing first, I want to thank all the developers for those programs because, hey guys, you are great. Thank you, thank you for your support. And I hope that this video is going to help to um, increase and solve some issues which I'm encountered uh, while I'm trying to uh, display my own controller in my stream. So, in, f in front of us we have several, as you can see, uh, programs that displays the uh, controller on screen. We have uh, the famous gamepad viewer. Uh, it's here that it's uh, web-based controlled. We have the pet pie here. This is the lightest um, uh, program that I have used. Also, we have the object. Um, uh, the, uh, object joystick display that is a very local, nice local program like uh, uh, PetPight, um, but much more, much more, um, uh, how you can say, configurable. Um, you, see, you see, there are a lot of things you can do, but it's also the heaviest program with a high CPU usage. If we try to exactly uh, load uh, this, um, uh, just a second, I'm gonna load this one. We can see here that PetPite is using 2% uh, of CPU usage. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the open joystick display, you get that, 13, 13 CPU, 14 CPU usage. So it's a very heavy program. Um, even if we close it, uh, into, uh, uh, um, how you can say, uh, the pull rate from the developer just decreased uh, a little bit, but not too much. And at least we have, of course, the uh, uh, Google Chrome that is uh, web-based uh, for uh, the gamepad, um, uh, uh, the gamepad viewer that is on Google Chrome at this moment, that is this one. So, uh, we, we, what we can see here that uh, uh, for a local program it's better to use a less so CPU usage than the PetPy uh, web program. On the web it's better used to the, this one, the um, gamepad viewer. Meanwhile, this is a very high um, configurable um, uh, program, but it also the um, uh, yeah, I have the highest CPU usage. Okay, uh, why I'm making this? Uh, because I repeat, I have some troubles. Uh, the only one is working good in my computer is the PetPy. Uh, also, I want to show you that this program is a um, a gamepad tool for Windows that just. Uh, uh, um, retrieve the connection, the connection of any um, gamepad um, controller you have uh, connected into the, your computer, and it just show you if the configuration is correct. And also we have here the properties of the uh, PlayStation and PC gamepad uh, to check if everything is correct. So let's start checking everything. I'm gonna connect the uh, my gamepad. It doesn't matter which gamepad. Um, uh, I mean, uh, um, we are talking about the basic configuration of the Windows gamepad for any gamepad uh, from the properties here. Uh, you can have a different uh, controller, but once the drivers are installed, it depends all everything from this configuration. That means which Windows drivers are inside and uh, which button or D-pad or C-pad or joystick or anything else are attached to uh, their buttons. So, if I'm going to press, for example, the left one button, we can see that all four, all four are working good. And you can see also on display object uh, a joystick display. You can see it just lighting up the number four, which it is the number four also. You can see it's number five um, um, on um, 
Oh, sorry, number four, also on the uh, configuration of the computer. You can see that this correctly. Everything are lighting up. You can see also on the gamepad tools, you see that the, um, the uh, last one button is lighting up. If I press the right one button, you can see all are working good. Same offer. R2, left 2. And we can see also the same configuration as object display um, program does has the same buttons as the uh, configuration of Windows, not controller, of Windows driver connected to their button. So let's try the rest uh, of the buttons. It did are coming the problem, the issue uh, with the Windows uh, drivers uh, between every single program. For example, if I want to press the D-pad, we can see the D-pad, D-pad left working on PetPy. You can see the PetPy is only one working, and, and we can see also on the GamePad tool that is working here, and only on those two. And if we can check here, look, look at the left button of Windows here. Watching the cursor, you see is is just checking. It's correct. Um, no matter what I do, trying to make it configurable, this one, also the object joystick display, it doesn't work. I'm trying to um, also to configure the D button and uh, I don't know why it doesn't work. Also, it should work also on, on uh, gamepad viewer, but is just not seen. I'm trying to configure it, the D-pad. If I try to configure it, the D-pad has it shown. Let's try to remap buttons. Okay, our right, new mapping. Um, we are going to uh, into no button, no axis. Uh, what's already? No, oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. D-pad. Okay, D-pad up or maybe. Uh, better to go. Um, no, D pad up. Uh, let, let's say D pad up right now. D pad, uh, D pad down. Left and right. Okay, I'm gonna click it. You see that this, uh, I'm Pressing the up button, as you can see, but it doesn't show on button rebinding. You see, it doesn't show. Um, uh, please check, select, uh, swap. You see, I'm pressing, and uh, nothing's gonna is, is happening. If I'm gonna click on set, it's the same. I can't. Uh, I mean, uh, I can't absolutely uh, use it. Uh, the D pad, but as we can see, it's working on the on uh, on Windows. Um, and if I try to uh, access, I'm gonna control the access um, and uh, click to set. Nothing is happening. I mean. Um, um, I, it doesn't recognize the the D-pad button. I uh, have no idea why. Uh, sometimes it just recognize it. Sometimes it just don't. Uh, I have no idea why it does not recognize the uh, the D-pad button. But if I look in, uh, everything is working fine to the rest. What should, for example, um, this one? This is what what it just uses. So left, right one, left one, left two. Right to um, D pad up, D pad down, D pad right, D pad left, start button, no, I'm sorry, select button, start button, PlayStation 1. Look, look at the, look at the, look at the, I mean, the, uh, the gamepad viewer. Look at the gamepad viewer. If I press that, the start button, I'm gonna check also this one. Look, it's correct on the object display. Uh, object joystick display it's correct also on the map but d-pad has not uh, the uh, PlayStation button but look at the gamepad viewer you see it's always the same button 
uh, that's the problem and counteract of these things. Um, the only working good right now, but he has no few options, is the D-pad, that every single button are working good properly, you see, but he has no press, you can see I'm pressing the R3, and the D-pad has not the R3. I'm pressing the left tree as not the left tree. Uh, um, mean mm, that doesn't have mean that it's not working. It doesn't ha have the configuration uh, on the pod. It's not configured. Uh, we need to program it into the D pod. Uh, also, it has not the PlayStation button. We can use it also this. So those are the problems that I've encountered, and we can see here every single button. It's working on the PlayStation. You can see right sticks, left sticks, uh, button 0, button 1, button 2, button 3, uh, button 4, um, button 5, 6, 7, no, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, no, this is 12, uh, the 13, well, okay, 10, 11, 12. All the buttons are configurable, as you can see, but all those programs have their own uh, problems. Also, I can check on object display. You can add, of course, on object display. Um, uh, how you can say, you can see right here, we can add also uh, D-pad and not C-pad. Uh, so we can see here on D-pad, um, you can see I'm using, is working, watching here, look at the cursor, is watching here, everything is working, but if I try to configure it, the 9 button, look at the middle, you see up, highlighted, but I'm pressing the right button right now, look at that, I'm gonna show you in a moment, just a second, um, which one it is, sorry, when you have a lot of programs open, Come on. Okay. Um, you see them. I'm pressing the right button. And uh, you can see from the game tools, uh, gamepad tools, I'm pressing the right button. And it should show the left button. As you can see, we cannot use it. Even if I choose another option, it always says the same. Only if I do on the 9th, look. I don't know why uh, those uh, programs have all those problems, but this is the problem I have encountered with the working controller on Windows. I'm not saying any uh, that is PlayStation, Xbox, or any kind of other controller, Nintendo. I mean a working controller on Windows. All those programs are good programs, and I repeat, I thank you, every developer, but all those programs have issues, uh, I don't know why, on Windows, and uh, the only one is working good, I repeat, is the D-pad, uh, that is a local program, but the D-pad has not all the um, uh, post-configurable buttons, we can see um, we are missing the Alt-2 button, uh, R2, R2 and Alt-2 button, we are missing also the R3 and left 3, right 3 and left 3 button. You can see that on D-pad is not configurable. And we are missing also the PlayStation button. But for the others, buttons is working really good. It's a very light program. So, uh, this video ends here, uh, just showing that the working controller for several programs, um, they need, I in my humble opinion, to fix some uh, issues um, to their programs, unless, I repeat, it's me on my computer, but it seems on my computer, I repeat, according to the gamepad tool, uh, the properties that I repeat once again, look at me, left one, right one, right two, left two, um, I repeat, uh, left two, you see, right two, right one, left one, D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right, um, left three, right three, 
up, left, up, analog stick, left, down, left, 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 right, up, right analog stick, up, down, right, left, select button, start button, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation or controller, Bluetooth, um, this one, triangle, or button triangle is shown in PlayStation, triangle, circle, cross, and square. Well, those are the problem I'm encountering now with my controller on my computer and Windows. Thank you just for watching. I hope that you, you will get uh, solve any issue or maybe just give me an explanation about I have those issues. Thanks in advance. Bye.